everybody, Reds fan 1979 coming back at you with a special baseball card video. Hope everybody's had a great week so far. Um, starting off great for me, watched the Reds game last night and the debut of Major League debut of Andrew Abbott. Um, I actually got this card from somebody in a care package. Um, <laughs> this card's probably tripled in value since I've gotten it, but. A uh, really nice guy. I saw them interview his parents, and he just did amazing. He pitched against the Brewers uh, one hit over six innings and a shutout, I think. Um, it said there well, hasn't been a left-hander that's done that in a major league debut since, like, it's been like 100 years or something crazy like that. So glad to see him get the win last night. The Reds held on and won 2 to nothing against the Brewers, and you, you hardly ever see them get blanked, so... Glad the bullpen was able to preserve that. So uh, I know a lot of you guys are excited because tonight is the much-awaited Major League debut of Ellie De La Cruz, who is uh, Major League's uh, top prospect. And this seems to be the week of prospects getting called up for the Reds. So Abbott pitched last night. Uh, Nick Senzel got injured, I guess. He's being put on the disabled list, uh, on the injured list. So they brought up Ellie De La Cruz to play third base. So I'll be curious to see how that goes. So I want to show you guys, I have a small Ellie De La Cruz collection, nothing super crazy, but some nice cards. And I also, uh, for those of you that watched some of my prior videos, um, I did win a promotional sweepstakes, online sweepstakes to meet Ellie De La Cruz uh, last December at Reds Fest. I got to meet him and got this uh, autographed baseball, official Major League Baseball. So pretty sweet, got a moment to meet him. And um, so I wanted to show you guys my cards here. Let's start out with some inserts from 2023 Bowman. Um, this when it was printed when he was the number six prospect, but now pretty much people agree he's the number one prospect. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, Modern Prospects. That's pretty cool. Nice little refractory feel. And then this is a really neat, I love the Spotlight uh, card. I think I've showed that before, but really, really nice. Those were... Pretty cheap, you know, $1.50, $2 each. So let's get back to um, some of the most desirable cards, which are his first Bowman. So I've got a paper here. Um, I've got two Bowman Chromes. Uh, one card's missing. I actually have the Bowman Mega Box um, card at PSA for grading. I'm, I'm hoping to get a 10 on it. Um, I, I think uh, I think a lot of these cards are going to go up just with his debut. Um tonight and i hope he does well because he's just been mashing at uh triple a uh showing his speed showing his power so i'll be curious to see how he does against the dodgers who are a really good team so got this uh, pro debut card here with the dayton dragons that's my local team just a single a so that's pretty neat and then uh bowman sterling that's from 2022 a prospect card and then i grabbed an auto um one thing that's interesting you'll notice his his paid autograph is different like so this is his auto on a ball that like again i won an online sweepstakes so that's kind of like his free autograph this is this is more commonly his paid autograph that i've seen on cards um that he gets paid for doing so people that pay for his autograph also get this card so it's just really interesting um you know different signing autographs differently for different um uh occasions and whether he's paid or not for it so this card i got uh i want to say it was like last christmas time ish uh it was about 70 dollars, and i've seen these now going for like 110 to 130 so definitely was a good investment this is just a base we wanted to send it for grading but there's unfortunately some surface scratches up there so and then um some bowman's vest from 2022 bowman's vest we've got the base uh base prospect card we've got a nice refractor there um, and then a couple inserts. This is the prospect perspective royalty. And then this uh, interesting UFO card. And then this card was is my favorite one, actually. This is the a redemption I bought from somebody. Uh, it was supposed to be a best of 22 autographs, so it looks like a base card. Uh, but when you scratch the um, redemption code, uh, this is actually the card I got. Uh, numbered to uh, 150. Really nice blue parallel. I think that just pops and looks really, really sick. So, again, um, take his autograph, compare it. You know, they're pretty similar there. Those are the the paid autos. Um, you know, that's the that was the free auto. <laughs> so I'm glad I at least have a couple cards of him 
uh, buying these were so much cheaper. These are about $180 together that I paid and his Bowman Chrome first. You can't get a base one for less than like three to 400 bucks. It was just a little too much for me, but um, I think these are nice alternatives. I think these will go up in value depending on how he does. So anyways, um, let me know what you guys think of uh, these pickups. Uh, let me know what you think of Ellie De La Cruz. Are you hyped for him to have his major league debut? How do you think he's going to do? um at the big league level and, and how long do you think he'll stay for those of you that are reds fans you know you guys know we have a y young team um you know steer senzel mclean india um you know a lot of prospects coming up and how long do you think ellie will, will stay um and, and have the chance to prove himself so hope you guys will be watching the major league debut tonight i know i will uh please let me know what you think of this video and please like comment subscribe